Hello everyone and welcome to this video which is in our engine snack series. I'm Grandmaster Matthew Sadler and we're taking a look at a critical moment from the game Slow Chess Blitz against Leela Zero, Season 22, TCC, Division P. This game, well, I spent uh, quite a bit of my evening and a little bit of my night watching it. It was very thrilling indeed. Leela came very close to losing this with Black and uh, indeed to losing the game pair, which really normally only happens against Stockfish. Um, the Grunfeld had not gone well for Leela, but Leela had defended pretty well. In particular, Leela had managed to get White into a position where it only has isolated pawns. Now, when White's pieces are so good, rook on b7, bishop on d4, d3, that's not really visible, but once pieces start to get exchanged, loose pawns really do matter. For example, if the light square bishops get exchanged, then a6 is an immediate target. Uh, just think how different the situation would be if the pawn on c3 was on b5. Uh, Leela's plan is to distract white with the h-pawn and uh, probably in actual fact also just to move this pawn up to g4 and get uh, yeah good connected pawns. You might even be able to uh, exchange off the pawns, get all the pawns on one wing by playing g4 to g3. So it's pretty natural for white to get the king over to uh, h2 uh, or g3 just to stop the h-pawn and also to stop the advance of the uh, g-pawn as well. And there's two natural moves here. There's f4, uh, which is what uh, slow chess played, and there's f3. Hard to really see a difference uh, between them. Actually, f4 looks the most natural, stopping black from playing g5 and uh, creating a nice uh, outpost for the bishop on e5. In fact, uh, when you let uh, Stockfish run for ages and ages, um, I let my 94 thread machine uh, analyze top until uh, depth 85 and uh, selective depth 148 um, and uh, for uh, actually two million million nodes as well um, and it preferred the move f3 and it gave itself plus five there f4 was being analyzed at similar depths to uh, something like just over plus one so a huge difference and uh, well, I just decided it would be interesting to find out, you know, what, why was there such a difference between f4 and f3? The reason is tactical and incredibly subtle. And uh, well, you wouldn't spot it as a human. Well, even an engine like Slow didn't, uh, didn't find it. Um, the point is that um, after f4, well, we run with the king to, uh, to g3. And then black can actually just uh, try and stay still, just leave its defensive structure as it is. And white's got um, uh, an interesting uh, little zugzwang maneuver. It plays the move rook b8, king c7, rook b4, king d8, rook b7. And then after king e8, it goes rook b8. And uh, we're threatening bishop a7 because of the pin on the, um, on the uh, uh, knight. And if you play a move like king e7, I go bishop c5 and pin you. So it really just looks as if, um, well, white's just uh, completely winning, going to take the pawn on a7 and then it's curtains. Only black has the resource king d8 and after bishop takes a7 there's rook c6 and um, well this is a rather embarrassing attack on the, uh, on the bishop. Um, you can't uh, defend it obviously because knight takes a7 would be uh, uh, very strong. So you move the bishop back to f1 and now we've got rook takes c3 check and that is the key point. If the king goes to h4, the pawn moves to h2. If you go to h2, we give rook c2 check. So you understand now, all of a sudden, why f3 is strong. Um, in this particular uh, tactical sequence, well, Stockfish is looking at playing the move uh, g5. It doesn't want to stay still uh, ever at all because bishop c4, king d8, we play our little shuffle here. Rook b7 wants to play g5 again, Stockfish. Because after king e8, rook b8, king d8, bishop a7, rook c6, we just played bishop f1, there's no check, and so the bishop will retreat to d4 and a7 to a8 will queen. Yeah, amazing uh, yeah, little tactical point and just shows you how precise you have to be right until the very end to beat the top three, you know, uh, Stockfish, Leela or Komodo. Quite incredible there. As it was after f4, um, well, Stockfish was only giving plus one, which for this ending is really not a winning plus. And Leela held it pretty comfortably in the end to uh, keep itself in the hunt for a super final place. Amazing defense from, uh, from Leela and uh, an amazing missed opportunity from Slow Chess.